The events aim at building bridges through Nobel laureates with local universities and other institutions in Southeast Asia to establish long-term relationships which may result in common research programs and other forms of collaboration. By enhancing science, technology and education as a basis for peace and development, the events may lead to a better cooperation for the advancement of peace, freedom and security in the region with the active involvement of the young generation, ASEAN's key to the future. This is why Bridges is not designed as a one-time event, but as a continuing process of synergies to make the series of events a sustainable success for Malaysia and for Southeast Asia as a whole. I'm grateful to the Malaysian Honorary Chairman of Bridges, His Royal Highness Raja Nasrin Shah, and to our Chairman, Tun Musahita. Their powerful guidance paved the way for bridges to bear fruit. I'm also grateful to the representatives of our local partner institutions who have developed the detailed schedule of the events in continuous meetings, as well as to our sponsors who have enabled us to make bridges a, real, a reality. I would like, thank you, would like to say thank you to everyone present today for taking part in this program. May it help us to facilitate a new culture of peace through dialogue, transcending its definition as merely the absence of war or armed conflict into a new understanding what the basis for peace is, education. In this spirit, we welcome today the 2006 Nobel Laureate for Chemistry, Professor Roger Kornberg, who has agreed to come to Malaysia to support the events. We all look forward to his keynote speech and to his important contribution to build bridges. Thank you, Mr. Moravia. I now call upon Yang Bahagir, Dato I.R. Dr. Haji Ahmad Zaidi Laidin, Vice President of the Academy of Sciences Malaysia. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Very good morning. Professor Roger Conberg, the Nobel Laureate of 2006 in chemistry, <coughs> our special guest speaker. Your back here, Professor Dr. Dr. Sharifa Hapsa. Vice Chancellor, University of Kwanza, Malaysia. His Excellency Dr. Dana Tuskoy, Ambassador of Australia, uh, Austria. Mr. Iwi Moravitz, Chairman of the International Peace Foundation, the Management and Academies of the UKM, Fellows of the Academy, I see a couple here, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Academy of Sciences, Malaysia, I am indeed honored to say a few words on this occasion. Let me first begin by saying that the Malaysian Bridges series of events is a remarkable series. It provides a platform to hear from an impressive array of speakers, ranging from Nobel laureates, as has been mentioned earlier, in physics, chemistry, medicine, and so on, as well as world-renowned artists and several prominent international personalities. And in this program, so far, we have two Nobel laureates, uh, one in physics and one in economics by my count. Uh, Mr. Oe Murray says two just now, this is the third. This is already the third. And I was privileged to attend all the three of these uh, speeches by the Nobel laureates. Ladies and gentlemen, the Academy of Sciences Malaysia considers hosting Professor Roger Conver a tremendous honor, particularly since we also had the privilege of hosting his late father, Nobel laureate Professor Arthur Conver, in 2002. As you already know, perhaps that uh, Professor Roger Conver's father 
after convert himself, won a Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1959. And I was told that uh, Professor Roger Pomper was there to see his father receiving this honor 47 years earlier. They have etched their names in history as one of the six ever father-son pair to win a Nobel Prize. And for us in Malaysia, this is the first. But it doesn't stop there. His family, his mother was also a scientist. His brother was also a scientist. And uh, even the youngest brother is an architect, apparently, specializes in design of biomedical and biotechnical building laboratories in the United States. So although not quite, you know, as an architect, he's still involved in biomedical and biotechnology. On behalf of the Academy of Sciences, I also wish to take this opportunity to convey our sincere appreciation to the International Peace Foundation, particularly Mr. Ovid Morawitz, for facilitating this series of events, and everyone else have contributed one way or another to make this series possible. And this time, a special thank you to our host, University of Amsterdam, for your kind collaboration, partnership, and commitment. I must say, uh, Vice Chancellor, coming here is a special occasion for me because several years ago, and that shows how old I am, I was involved in the early group that put up a paper to establish this university. And uh, it was all started from the Dewan Bahasa. Perhaps uh, not many realize that. Um, the late Tun Nase, the Zed Nase was uh, uh, instrumental in this. And that initial paper said University Bahasa Kebangsaan, <laughs> not University Kebangsaan. So I think for the information of Professor Conberg, what we actually saw on the video. There was uh, English words that were taken out and the Malay words put in. And it was very, uh, to me, special message. Because trying to make the Bahasa Melayu, the Malay language, a language of learning. Congratulations on that excellent video presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, frankly, the more I attend this lecture series, the more I learn, and the more I want to attend. And uh, the relevance is clear, because given the challenges of globalization, the present problems related to climate change, the rapid decline in the quality of environment, the depletion of natural resources, and the increasing pressure to meet basic human needs such as food, water, and energy in a sustainable manner, clearly indicates that something has got to be done. More than that, peace is not just about absence of war. What we are finding out is that peace means a lot more to me. It means the well-being of society, the continued sustainable well-being of society. Adequate and continued supply of food and comfort, safety, in all aspects of the world. A slow failure can cause a lot of problems, not just to the houses and the dwellers, but we also notice there's also a breakdown in law and people started to pilfer and so on. This certainly does not constitute peace in my book. Tsunami is another great tragedy that affected many people in this part of the world. Consequently, a proper understanding of the way science, technology, and innovation can help improve the general condition and well-being, both social and economic, in a sustainable manner is extremely crucial. Of course, more than just that, there's a need to prior prioritize science and technology in 
development policies and follow through with efficient implementation towards ensuring benefit to society. Therefore, I hope that we can make the best of this opportunities provided by Bridges, the series of events, the sharing of knowledge and experience, exchange of ideas, dialogues and understanding of different perspectives on a wide range of topics towards building a progressive and knowledgeable society that can think and act to ensure societal well-being and a better future for everyone. Thank you very much. Salam Thank you, Yandora Ladies and gentlemen, it now gives me great pleasure to call upon Yang Bahagia, Professor Dr. Dr. Sharifa Habsa, Vice Chancellor of University of Bangsa, Malaysia, to welcome and introduce Professor Kondo. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Salam sejahtera. Good morning. On behalf of the National University, izinkan saya berbahasa Inggeris. On behalf of UKM, I take great pleasure in welcoming our very distinguished speaker, Professor Roger Convert, Nobel Laureate for Chemistry in 2006. To, uh, we welcome also the Honourable Dr. Dato Anjini Haji Ahmad Zaidi Laidi. The Deputy President of the Academy of Science of Malaysia. Of course, Mr. Uwe Marowet, the Chairman of the International Peace Foundation. His Excellency, Dr. Donatus Quirk, Ambassador of Austria. All these distinguished guests present today, ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, I would like to take the opportunity to thank the International Peace Foundation for making this lecture possible at UKM. We are proud to co-host this British dialogue towards a culture of peace program. There are many reasons why UKM is proud to be part of this global initiative to bridge cultural divides and foster peace through academic dialogues. This initiative embodies our ideals of academics and students transcending the realm of academia in making a direct contribution to the betterment of society. Such links to the real world of society enhance the quality, social relevance and effectiveness of our educational and research programs which we tried to show in the video. The social engagement furthers another critical mission of our university, one that we call the cultural mission. In carrying out this mission, we put our resources in service of the community as active agents and partners in social change. Under the rubric of culture, we steer research and curricula to meet emerging societal needs to provide innovative ideas and practices for the solution of local problems, to improve the social importance of knowledge throughout the community, to educate 